Welcome to our studio today. We're going to start on step or layer two of our abstract uh, painting. So today what you'll need is a sheet of scrap black paper which is found on the supply table. You will need a pencil or even a white or light color colored pencil. Your painting supplies, your magazine palette, water cup and brush or brushes, um, and your paints, which should be already be at your table. We are going to first start out by drawing a um, organic shape. And we want a shape that is unrecognizable. So no animals, no leaves, no hearts, no stars, no clouds, but something that is unrecognizable. And then we are going to take that shape after we've drawn it. Um, and we're going to cut it out. So we'll go ahead and cut out our little shape. Doesn't matter if the lines show a little bit because they're going to just be used to create what's called a mask on your paper. Not your clay masks, but a, an area or a material that blocks out an area of your painting. And what we'll do with that is we'll lay it here on different areas to cover an area that we want to leave alone or we want to accent or make stand out. So I really like the areas here. So I'm probably going to use it here to kind of block those. And from here, I'm going to choose a color that I want to um, add to my painting. So this will be layer two. So it could be any number of colors from your color wheel that you've been working on. Um, it could be your hues of green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, or it could be any of the tints that you have created or played around with. And they can go lighter or darker depending on how much white you add to that color. So that's a choice that you'll have to make today. Um, I'm just gonna paint with a, a color I mixed up earlier and that is a kind of a tint of a blue violet. So I'm using a flat brush and that flat brush is gonna give me one technique. And so I'm gonna start from the edges of my mask shape and I'm gonna brush outward. And I'm gonna let the paint kind of feather. I don't want it to be like super solid. I want it to be kind of, we call it a dry brush technique, but kind of build out, fan out from the edges of our shape. Okay, if I need to pick up a little bit more color, I can. Okay, just kind of fanning out and adding another, or pulling, I'm actually pulling a color out from my underpainting. So from my watercolor that I did, there's some kind of blues and purples together. So I wanted to pull that and create some contrast. So I picked not a super light color, not a super dark color, but something kind of in between. So when I pull that, I have my mask shape here, and then that light feathering around it, okay? I'm gonna go grab a sponge really quick and I wanna show you a second technique. Using the same paint color for all of these, um, you can do all the same paint technique or you can choose to do one or the other or a combination of both. So I'm gonna dab around the edges of this and create a different technique. So you get a little bit more control over the light or darkness of the colors. Work my way around. and then I would pull this up and it leaves the mask. So this is a little bit lighter technique. So that's our step today. I want you to put between three and five of these shapes. If you have a smaller shape, you're gonna need to put more. If you have a bigger shape like mine, you might do some on the edges coming into the painting, some full ones, some almost full ones where it comes into the painting, and some corners, okay? So three to five of those. Um, with a color of your choice, the same color for every shape. Okay, so we're adding one color today. Have fun and enjoy.